Welcome back. Argentina's official inflation rate came in at 7 tenths of 1% for the month of April, the same as last month, but not bad by Argentine standards. But the country's inflation figures have been widely disputed. Private economists and opposition politicians say the real numbers are much, much higher. Daniel Schweimler investigates. Everyone in Argentina, every shopper, accepts that inflation here exists. But there's an intense debate about how high it is and whether it's even a problem. The National Statistics Office, INDEC, reported the April inflation rate at less than 1%. A separate consumer price index compiled by opposition members of the Argentine Congress, backed by independent economists, says April inflation was around double that, at 1.52%. Inflation keeps rising, but by how much depends on who you talk to. The government says it's under control, but many say that it's rampant. The truth really only hits home when the time comes to pay. The Argentine government has been criticised by the International Monetary Fund and workers at its own National Statistics Office for manipulating official inflation figures. The government fined those who challenged the official figures, a decision this week overturned by the courts and celebrated by these opposition deputies. What we want is to defend our freedom. This has been a big step towards defending our freedom of expression, but there's still more to be done. There are little battles every day. Every day the government invents little ways to ambush those who in this case are simply trying to give us the true inflation figures. Argentine suffered hyperinflation in 1989, which saw consumer prices increase by as much as 5,000 percent. Repeated bouts of economic volatility make the inflation rate a sensitive issue here. The government says it's under control and is negotiating a price freeze on 500 key products. Shoppers, meanwhile, are counting their coins. Daniel Schweimler, CCTV, Buenos Aires.